Madam Very Good Day. I'm Dr. Natiara Muhammad Hashim from Faculty of Medicine. We would like to present on our project, My Rehab Maker, Utilizing 3D Printing Technology in the Disability Management. It's a collaborative project between Faculty of Medicine and Faculty of Mechanical Engineering. Rehabilitation medicine is a branch of specialty in medicine dealing and managing patients with impairments and disabilities resulting from diseases such as stroke, spinal cord injury, traumatic brain injury, amputation, congenital diseases, any neurological or musculoskeletal disease, just to name a few. We work in a multidisciplinary fashion. We diagnose, we prognosticate, we treat by addressing disabilities, minimize dysfunction, preventing complications, restore or improve functional level, and ultimately reduce dependency and increase independency level. Disability is various and very diverse. Each disability is unique to every individual. As described by International Classification of Functioning, these differences are influenced by a complex combination of biopsychosocial factors. The characteristic of each disability will depend on the background diseases, needs, social and personal factors. One of the interventions to address disability is by assistive adaptive device prescription or by short known as AAD. It consists a range of device from low tech to high tech which depends on cost, level of expertise, advancements of technology or facilities. Accessibility of AAD has been declared as a human right by WHO. AAD is any form of device or technology's primary function is to maintain or improve an individual's functional and independence level by addressing impairments, facilitating participation, and enhancing overall well-being. According to WHO survey, globally, more than 1 billion people require one or more assistive products. However, in many middle and low income countries, access to this adaptive device among PWD is limited, ranging from 5% to 15% only. The Convention of the Rights of People with Disability has now recognized access to assistive technology as a human right and has called for international cooperation to improve its accessibility. In Malaysia, the total reported number of PWD registered at the Department of Social Welfare in 2017 was about 453,000 persons. PWD with physical impairment recorded as the highest number, which was around 35.2%, followed by learning disability about 34.8% and visual impairment about 8.9%. Analogizing the increasing number of PWD and AAD needs, recent United Nations resolution have included the accessibility to assistive technology into its action plan. AAD prescription in our local clinical setting is reliant and limited to what is available in the market or produced by occupational therapists via conventional methods. AAD in local clinical setting usually only address certain functions due to lack of ideas, limited skills, material, outdated designs and production methods. There is also lack of structured multidisciplinary or transdisciplinary framework to allow crossover on knowledge and collaborations. This is an, an example of a conventional method to attain patient's anatomical shape, size, and features utilizing plaster of Paris of a short POP. This process consumes time, appear messy, and utilize a lot of consumable, hence will occur more cost. Hence, analogizing this problem, we create a multidisciplinary framework consisting of rehabilitation physician, occupational therapists, and technical experts to allow crossover of knowledge and utilize 3D printing technology to develop customized AAD specific to diverse set of disabilities. We practice a patient-centric or co-cohesion concept in setting the functional goal and patient involved actively during the decision making. This framework allows an amiable and conformable AAD to be prescribed to effectively address impairment, hence helping to achieve the optimum functional level and reduce the dependency level. Now, I would like to describe the method, the design, and the development of our framework in AAD prescriptions. This figure demonstrates five 
process involved in the development of customized EAD, multi-stary assessment together with the medical and technical team to assess patient's background and prognostications of disease, type of impairment, assessing patient's functional level, and to identify special biomechanical features that can be adopted. During these sessions, patient is actively involved in this session to convey their functional need that he or she wants to be addressed. Then we discuss together in setting the functional goal that we want to achieve and deciding on the features that be that should be developed in the AAD. The functional goal should be specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and timely. During the development of the AAD, we utilize 3D printing technology that will involve in scanning the anatomical features, designing, and production using 3D printing. The developed product was tested for its fitting, doning, doofing, and safety. The product functionality will be assessed by goal attainment skills and by via video recording. This is an example of scanning process using handheld scanner to scan the anatomical shape of the limbs that further are transferred to meshwork software to be filtered and further refine the shape. This allows the development of the AAD that is customized and to address specific needs of the patients. This is an example of designing process of the AAD using Katia and CAT software. Noted how amiable and conformable the design can be to conform towards patients' unique anatomical shapes and landmarks. This is an example of CAD drawings of the developed AAD that is ready for printing. Noted the mechanical features that be integrated in the design that cannot be developed by conventional method. We are proudly present our first 3D printing lab in the Faculty of Medicine. Noted the picture on your left is the 3D printer that we use to print our designed AAD. I would like to continue my presentations with the outcome and products of our project. This is the Neurosis Gripping Enhancer Orthosis. Noted how this AAD can help the patients in holding pens. This patient has suffered from bilateral upper limb weakness secondary to spinal cord injury. is a large hand gripper and forearm driller used in a patient who suffered from stroke who had a right upper limb weakness. She has difficulty in performing writing tasks. This AAD assists the patients to write. This is a plate based rotator aid device that is used with patients having a bilateral upper limb weakness. Note that how this device helps the patients to rotate the plate while he is forming, feeding, and eating past. and customized wheelchair mounted table. This is developed for patients with tetrafocomelia, which is a congenital upper limb deficiency disease. This is one of our CSR projects that we already delivered to patients. Noted how these patients use this device to be able to write. Picture on your right is a finger writing orthosis that is used to a patient with weakness of the thumb and the index finger. Noted how he used the writing orthosis to help him to write. And the picture on your left is a wheelchair mounted table holder which is prescribed with a patient of motor neuron disease which have a bilateral upper limb weakness. This is a cosmetic prosthetic limb that we prescribed to a patient who suffered from bilateral transmural amputation. He also had a massive three vessel disease of the heart, which does not allow him to be prosthetically restored with a functional lower limb prosthesis. However, he raised his concern regarding his body image that reduced his confidence level to return back to the community. Hence, with the cosmetic prosthetic limb that were prescribed, it, incre it increased its confidence level and patient is happy and he can be able to return back to the community. 
we upgraded our AED production utilizing a moderate technology in development of pump joystick cursor that is used for a patient with bilateral upper limb weakness. This pump joystick is used to help the patient to control the cursor while handling the hand wound. This is a few of examples of prototype stitch of our AAD. This is an adjustable heat rest that is used for patients with cerebral palsy to have a Head control. This is a prototype of our ankle foot orthosis to provide stretching towards a stiff ankle in a stroke patient. This is our new R&D utilizing high technology in developing exoskeleton robotic assessive therapy. This exoskeleton is utilized during um, mirror therapy in the stroke patient with upper limb weakness. Our project has demonstrated a few novelty and advantages. We integrate co-creation and patient-centric concept into our framework to involve the patient actively in the decision making. We utilize our IR 4.0 technology, namely 3D printing technology, in the product development. We have increased the digital data storage for future development. Each AED product is able to fabricate without any MOQ. Each AAD is customized to a patient. It has cheaper, faster fabrication and immutable design can be made for adjustment if adjustment required. It also limits and reduces excessive usage of plastic as the material used can be recycled. Our project has addressed a few of sustainable development goals, namely good health and well-being, industry innovation and infrastructure, reduce inequalities and promote partnerships for the goals. Our project has been featured in national newspaper with the Harian on 12 March 2020. We also has registered a few of intellectual property in terms of copyright for a few of our products. We also have some publications of our as a conclusion, our project has demonstrated that transdisciplinary and multidisciplinary team framework and 3D printing technology are useful in upgrading our current AAD prescription services in our local clinical setting. With that, I end my presentation. Thank you.